so if you could briefly introduce yourself and tell what you are doing here, who are you? I'm uh, Peter Melsen from Belgium, serving police officer who lost his brother 11 years ago doing an overdose heroin, cocaine, legal medication and uh, alcohol. And I'm standing up for other drug policies. I'm involved in Anyone's Child, which is a campaign from Transform Drug Policy Foundation, and LEAP. LEAP is Law Enforcement Against Prohibition, and we try to influence politicians, we try to influence the big mouths to, in order to change our actual drug laws. Mm -hmm. Can you say something very shortly about your personal experience with both the drug law and drugs? Um, well, I lost my brother. He started doing drugs when he was 14 years old, ended up with a needle in his arm when he was 28. And then I was a firm believer that prohibition was a good approach. But on the other hand, when he died, it was... Uh, he was irreplaceable and, and, and it was final and then you start thinking, did, this, did these drug policies help my brother, did it help us as a family? And then the only conclusion is no, it, it made it worse uh, by incriminating him, by putting him in jail, by um, not allowing him uh, 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 an easy access to, to treatment, by putting a stigma on him. We, we, we just made it worse by this. And then you start thinking, you start talking, you start informing document to, to document yourself and then you see there's a lot of things that might change. It doesn't have to cost a lot, but it will help a lot of people. So it's not prohibition, what should we do? Legalize all drugs? Legalize all drugs, because if you say what drugs should be legalized and what not, then you, you have to decide what piece of the market you leave to the criminal world. So if you legalize everything, there is no such thing as prohibition, then you can start working on healthcare, on social issues, and, and there will always be addiction, there will always be problematic use, but drug guys will not definitely increase. You will have to you have to look at into into perspective. If you start using some ecstasy or cannabis, you might drink less because now people keep on drinking alcohol because other substances are not uh, allowed. Um, but people need need to get out sometimes mentally and, and, and drug use or it is from all centuries and will be from a part of humankind. Ignoring that is in fact ignoring your own chemical household mm. in your brain. Okay, so and last, last, question, last question. I understand that uh, why we shouldn't uh, criminalize, for example, drug users. But should we allow for a legal sale of drugs, the commercialization of drugs? What do you think about this? I don't think commercialization is a good thing, but then the profit comes up and then it's, it's all about let's use as much drugs as we can. I think it should be uh, legalized uh, and legal regulated by the government with uh, strict uh, limitations and licenses and, and, and so forth. But, but keep it out of the criminal world, make sure that what you sell is known and that it is good quality. And then you can start working on advice and, and you can never do prevention in, in, an, in an illegal world. So prevention will be a very big issue. Don't do drugs, but if you do it, do it safe, come home safely. That's only possible in a, in a system where drugs are legally regulated and not, not in a criminal world. Thank you very much.